how to uh, take the keyboard out of these Lenovo ThinkPads. Um, first thing you gotta do is remove the battery. So we'll remove the battery out, just a little slide lock there. Then the second thing is we have to take this cover off that's in the center. There's a little keyboard icon next to it, also a memory chip and a processor. So taking a small Phillips screwdriver, we'll just take this screw out. And it'll loosen up all the way, and you should be able to pry this guy open. So once this is open, it just kind of slides up and pops off. So we'll just put that off to the side. Now there's one more little screw over here. There's a little keyboard icon. And there's a screw right there, and that guy needs to come off too. So that's a Phillips as well. So using that small Phillips head screwdriver, we'll just take that guy out. This one's a little tricky, so usually I'll just, you know, tip it over, catch the screw. It should be the same size as the one we took out for the case. I'll just put that off to the side as well. Now that that's done, we can flip it back over. And this is the probably the trickiest part, is usually you just take your finger right here and kind of push up, and the whole keyboard just kind of slides up. So if you push it up enough, you'll see down here it starts coming loose. So once you get it up enough, you should be able to pry it out. Now I also have a you know flathead screwdriver. You can just gently pry open the other side until it pops out. So then once you've got this bottom side out, it lifts up and there's one cable connecting it to the motherboard. So I can just take this cable right here and gently tug on it a little bit, it comes right off. Now the replacement they give you should look exactly like this, it'll have the buttons, it'll have this little connector, everything, so it's just piecing it back together from there. So we'll just take this ribbon cable and you can see the connector that it goes to, it's right there. So we'll just take that ribbon cable and gently push it on. And once that's done, we'll make sure it folds back in there. And we'll take this end and put it in up here. Slide it all the way up, push it all down, and then slide it back down. Once it's slid back down, all these pieces should be down. So you'll see that the keyboard's flush again. Looks good. Then once that's done, we'll close the lid, put the screws back in, and we should be done. We'll take that one screw that we took out, put that back in that section. And just till it's snug, we're not going to go too tight on these. And then we'll take the other one, put this cover back on. Tighten that sucker back up, put the battery back in, it just slides right back in, locks into place, and we are done.